Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I would like to introduce you to a piece with a fascinating history from our permanent collection. It is originally from China, and it is a type of ceramic known as Chinese export ware, and I'll get into that in a moment. This is actually a punch bowl. It is 11 and a half inches in diameter, and it was created to hold and serve punch. Unfortunately, we do not have any of the cups or glasses that would have accompanied this piece. One of the really interesting things about Chinese export ware ties intrinsically to the story of porcelain. The first known porcelain object is from China, and they really perfected that eggshell thin, beautifully glazed, category that continues to this day. Interestingly, the Chinese were in no hurry to share this knowledge of porcelain and kept it a secret for over 200 years so they would have exclusive rights to selling and creating porcelain. Because of this, it was a very exclusive, luxurious item that many people the world over wanted to purchase and have as their own. And that's where Chinese export ware comes in. Wealthy individuals who wanted to obtain the porcelain had to go through a broker who would contact the Chinese manufactories, and then it was created and shipped abroad to these different markets. Over time, people could actually request the motifs on these sets of dinnerware, and George Washington himself ordered both a set for private use and then another set when he became president of the United States. That is why it is called Chinese export ware. It was created specifically for markets abroad to appeal to American and European tastes. Let's take a closer look at the object. One of the things that is so very fascinating about Chinese export ware is it displays a convergence of cultures. Even though it was made for things like punch, even though people could request motifs such as the one on here, which I will discuss in a moment, there still is a Chinese influence creeping through in the imagery, which is just wonderful. And I want to talk about that. When we look at this piece, we see a medallion on the side of the punch bowl that has sort of a bucolic scene of a man and a woman in a beautiful lush garden setting, which is very typical of the 1700s. That's not unusual at all. However, the treatment of this piece is where you really see the convergence of cultures. This is especially evident in the treatment of the foliage behind the couple. The quick light brush strokes are very similar to those you would see in traditional scroll paintings and other Chinese imagery. Also, when you look at the medallion itself, the little green and yellow sharp-edged pattern around it is actually the lotus leaf pattern. You see it both on the medallion and, of course, you see it around the rim of the bowl as well. Very common in Chinese porcelain to see the lotus leaf imagery. I also want to mention that Chinese export ware is why we often refer to fine sets of dinnerware as China to this day. It originally came from China and it got that nickname for any beautiful type of porcelain dinner or serving ware, which I think is a lovely testament to its origins. Thank you for listening and I hope to share more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.